Well, new at six eviction protections in today in California, but thousands of people who are behind on payments say the date needs to be extended. So what options do you have? ABC 10's Jay Kim is getting answers. You're talking about stress. It, it, it's been very stressful. For Sacramento resident Rodney Davis. I'm still sort of in a dilemma. Don't really have very much money saved up. A lot of anxiety and uncertainty as the state's rent relief eviction protections come to an end. Davis has received assistance from the Sacramento Emergency Rental Assistance Program in the past, but was recently furloughed from his state job and now one month behind on rent, still waiting for his unemployment benefits to kick in. My landlord could still, you know, give me an eviction notice. Technically, I've got to owe for this month and next month. So I don't know. I probably got like $500, you know, in the bank. Landlords can now start issuing eviction notices for tenants like Davis who are behind on their payments and for the thousands of renters who have applied to the state's emergency COVID-19 relief program and are still waiting for a response. To be frank, uh, frank, the state protections ended March 31st and we've seen many, many people living in jurisdictions that didn't have, um, you know, protections. Sacramento is one of those. Laura Simon Weisberg, legal director for ACE Institute, offers this advice for tenants who are served with a notice. So when you get that three day notice, take action. Um, see if there's some way to pay the rent, reach out to legal service organizations to see around getting uh, rental assistance. Another really helpful resource is there is a website. Uh, it's called Tenant Power Toolkit that walks you through every step and then prints out an answer for you.